Hello mate and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Render. This is a deeper edition, i.e. I'm doing a render for my game Deeper. So let's jump into this then. We're in the motel pool scene. I've got Laura. In fact, I've already got all the characters loaded into the scene. They're just hidden from view. So in this scene, we are going to have a sunbed in this area because this area is in the direct sun. That area over there is in the shade. Laura is going to be chilling out on it. And our main character is going to approach her and start chatting. So we're just going to do kind of like the setup shot where we see her on the sunbed. So the first thing I have to do is actually find a good sunbed. The ones that I've already got in the scene are okay, but they are more kind of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're more decorative than operational because they are really awkward to see a character on. Uh, I have learned through trying many times. You can get them on there, but it just doesn't look right because of the curvature of the chair. So we are going to try and find something else. So let's just go with a lounger and we'll see what we've got. So we've got multiple options to choose from. And I am going to pick, let's go with this one to start with and see how it goes. It might not be any good. Why has that appeared all the way up there? That's the one we're after. So we can see if this has any morphs or anything like that. It does not have any morphs, which is fine. And bring it over this way. The fact that it's a simple bended or bent bed makes it a little easier. But if I'm being honest, this one does actually look a little bit too classy for this kind of motel. So instead, I will go with this one. Give it a moment to load. That one looks a little bit more basic. It's more the kind of thing you'd expect to find in a low budget motel. If there were one with a pool, that is. This is obviously a little bit of artistic license. So I'm going to rotate it by... I'm going to say 76 degrees just to set it up a little bit better. Bring it over here and then lift it up out of the floor. It hasn't got to be perfect because the bottom of the legs aren't going to be seen anyway. So now all we need to do is move our character onto the bed. We're going to find her in our scene and give her a pose. I'm going to look for some kind of sitting or reclining pose. I'm sure I've got plenty of options in my expansive library. Just got to find one that is appropriate for this kind of scene. Now she's not laying there being flirty and sexy. She's literally just laying there sunbathing. She doesn't know the main character is about to walk out onto the pool deck and see her. So it's not like she's set up and, you know, showing off. She's just chilling. So... That is in itself a little bit more of a challenge because most of the poses that you can buy on the Dice Studio store seem to be overtly sexual. I mean, people have heard me talk about this many times and they know my feelings on the matter. So this potentially, let's have a look and see what this one looks like. Well, it's different but I think the best thing we, we can do actually is to restore figure pose and work from there okay does studio being does studio that took an unnecessarily long amount of time but there you go so now we can move Laura over here and get her roughly in the right place we'll sort out her why translate properly in a minute we'll just get her so that it's vaguely where she needs to be and then move it like that. Okay, cool. And what I think I might do is get rid of the wet hair and stick with her normal hair for this particular shot. There's no need for her hair to be wet. She's just sunbathing. It's not good, not enough to make her um, that sweaty. Okay, so back to finding an appropriate pose for her. Select the character and then we'll see what we've got. We may end up needing to modify a sitting pose. It wouldn't be the end of the world, in fact, to be honest. 
probably more chance of success if we actually do that if we find a sitting pose and just adjust her spine so that she's actually in the correct position it's just probably easier than faffing around finding going sifting through thousands of reclining poses all of which are look like they're from some kind of porn intro just got to find something that's vaguely right in fact the, the one I've just found looks like it might be good this one this one looks like it might work it shouldn't be too hard to modify this one so we can slide her into position almost there bring our camera around so that we can see what's going on with her back against the back of the seat and obviously we need to uh, slide her down as well as you can see she's quite a long way off of the seat at the moment so it really is a case of just finessing this in she's not going to be the, the trick is to sink her into the seat enough that it looks like she's actually sitting on her behind without having it so much clipping that it just looks wrong so that looks about right and we can fix any shadow issues in post-production now we need to make sure that her back lines up again it hasn't got to be perfect and we can rotate her as needed which i think we are going to have to do that's good okay so the top half of the body looks okay And does the arms, do the arms bother me? Do I need to find another pose which isn't quite so over the top? I think, yeah, let's try this one, which is a variation on that pose. Uh, there we go. It actually looks like she's sitting kind of more properly now. The arms up thing was a bit odd. So again, just having to tweak it, finesse it a little bit. Adjusting rotation, adjusting our elevation, and then just pulling her back into it. Right at this point, I think we're as close as we can be with her buttocks. So now we need to adjust the rest of her body, mainly her spine, to be quite honest. The rest of her is, is fine. That one's probably okay. This one we need to bend. As you can see, it just that adjustment on its own makes it look much better and then we can adjust her forearms to bring her hands down into what we can consider to be a more natural pose but right now I think I'll focus on the major limbs now this leg is obviously not in an ideal situation so we can unbend that leg a little bit more and we're actually in not too far off where we want to be now just using the minus button there just to edge it that looks okay now the upper part her, her thigh on that leg actually looks pretty good so we're just going to bring that all the way whoa a bit too far we don't want to we'll bring that to maybe like five and then all we have to do is adjust this little by little until her heel is just about in there and then we can adjust the side by side so that it actually looks like her legs are crossing over each other a little bit more sensibly and I think we're going to have to fix those toes bring that bend to let's just bring it to zero there we go there we go so now her major the major parts of her body are in the right place now we can fix these arms what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select her chest and I'm actually going to pin a rotation and give that a moment to have a bit of a think and I'm also going to pin translation. That means that I can move the arms freely now without worrying about messing up the rest of the pose within reason. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to carry on using my sliders. So we want that to kind of stick around about there and we can twist this one back. Bring that in a smidge more. And then 
carry on with this front back adjustment until we're in more or less what I would consider to be a natural position. We're not far off it now. And at this stage, we could do a click and drag. And see what happens. Give that a moment to have a bit of a think. Nope, didn't want to do that. Nah, it's followed my mouse over there. This is the, again, the frustrating thing about Dash Studio is it doesn't do anything quickly. I could literally sit here now for a couple of minutes not moving my mouse. And then the instant I move my mouse, then it will react to my movement. So that's actually not a bad position for it to be in. I can fix this finger so that she's not digging her fingers into herself anymore. That'll do. And then the same with this one. We'll just pull that back. Oh, a little bit too much. Clicked in the wrong place. And then we're going to just double check to make sure that that's more or less where we want it to be. That's cool. Right, so with the other hand, in fact, I'm just going to bring up this. I'm going to select that and I'm going to turn off the clickability of it because it's just going to get in the way otherwise. Okay, so that's in a position that I think is going to work. So now we can try just dragging this hand over onto her lap, but I don't think it's going to be that easy. I think we're going to have to mess with sliders. Oh, saying that, that's actually pretty freaking good. Look at that, it's almost spot on. I can actually fix that little bit of digging in with her hand just by bending it backwards slightly. Cool. So that's actually working pretty well. I'm actually quite happy with that. Now all we need to do is just find a good angle to shoot this shot from that's going to give us a vaguely nice looking picture. And then we can put our camera in it. In fact, if I create a camera now and I jump into the camera, that might be an interesting shot, but it's going to be tricky to compose, so I might have to backpedal on that one slightly. But yeah, it's not enough of a setup shot. It just kind of looks like a bit of an artsy fartsy style shot. I don't really want to. You know, we need a little bit of juxtaposition. We need to be able to see that that is part of a swimming pool for in order for this to kind of work. So I'm actually going to maybe bring the shot to there instead she's in the upper third and that might work now we need to give it some depth of field turn on our depth of field like so change our focal distance so that she's in focus but i only want really her face to be the main focus so i'm going to be really tight with my depth of field there that's probably going to work and then we can jump into NVIDIA IRO preview mode to see what's what. So there we go. It's not too bad. I think my depth of field is a little bit too narrow because it's a little hard to see anything around her and it does look a bit unnatural. So what I think I will do is I will firstly, I'll increase my f-stop to about 10. That will bring more into focus. I'm actually going to bring this camera down. I'm going to bring it down to about 40 centimeters off the ground. And as you can see, that's too far. If I bring it down to about there and then tilt it up. So we'll go with some X rotate. Go for around about there. 